smoke! This fucking thing is done! It's a piece of shit! Fuck this car, dude! Fuck this car! I don't even know where to start, but uh, a whole string of bad luck Falcon. It all started with my 69. I had a 69 Falcon. I bought it when I was, I don't know, 17 years old maybe. I had a 302 in it. I had it for three weeks before I wrecked it. But it's cursed. I bought it from a dead guy. Some uh, an old man built it, built the engine, built the trains, built the diff, did it, went through everything on the car. Then he passed away, so I, I bought it from his family. Ever since I got that car, it was never right. Like everything was kind of weird on it. There's a lot of little quirks to it. So when I when I picked up that Falcon on the way home, right away, it was overheating. There's some problems with it, but it's been rebuilt. So I, you know, it was something stupid. I thought, you know, maybe the gauge or something really stupid. But uh, I got the car. I fixed some things up. Um, I, I popped the radiator open. And it was just black as sin in there. It was just filthy, I and mean, so I, I hosed that out. And it. Overheating went away. It wasn't that good, but it was, it was it was better. One night, about three weeks after I bought the car, so I, I hardly had it. It was a brand new car still, um, to me at least, obviously. I was coming home from the drive-in movie theater on a date, <laughs> and uh, some BMW was racing me on the highway. So you know, having a, a fast car, we mess around a little bit, and uh, I, I was giving her some beans. All of a sudden, I, get cut. Well, I, I didn't get cut off, so there's an on-ramp coming up. And uh, I saw a car coming, so I just tapped the brakes, slowed down a little bit, so it was uh, moving at a pretty good speed. And the, the, rear end just, the rear end just locked up. I, I lost control. The whole rear end locked up. Um, did a few less, you know, a few back and forths from the ditch and the uh, guardrail. Didn't hit anything. Thought I was going to save it. And uh, got turned around pretty much, did a 180 off into a cliff, into a pond, took out a fire hydrant, no seatbelts, we it was, in 70 they got rid of, they stopped me in the Falcon Americas and they couldn't pass safety standards, we weren't wearing the seatbelts, it was a unibody, it, it was a compact economy car of the day, even though it had a 302 in it, it was still fun, not a scratch on either one of us, which is kind of a, a miracle, <laughs> that was kind of messed up, you know, racing around, ended up in a, in a pond after you know it, and then water coming in through the uh, door and stuff like that that was kind of spooky but uh made it out there alive no scratches no problem no nothing so i don't know how that happened but it was totaled the whole it was a unibody you couldn't do much with it i pulled all the uh, all i could pull off of it you know I, I the thought of wrecking a car is just wrecking a new car i have no you know not that i don't have a problem with it but like it's completely different when you take an old car off the road that really it really hurts you you know i, I was really really depressed after that one but uh I saved all I can save off of it. I mean, every last little thing I get off of it. I sold, I pulled the engine out of it and the trans out of it. Um, I sold everything else. A guy from Oklahoma picked up the body. I don't know what he was gonna do with it since maybe get back half of it, I don't know. Tough it out. But then I kept that engine and trans and decided to buy another Falcon, which was a hell ride. <laughs> so I decided to buy a 65, which is my favorite year for Falcons. 69s are kind of lame looking, I thought. But uh, 65s are my favorite. I found it on eBay with a six cylinder in it, which is sitting right over there. A little uh, old grandma car. So uh, me and my buddy Billy, old, old Bill, you've probably seen him on the channel somewhere. But uh, we went over to, uh, I found this thing on eBay. And I drove with the trailer all the way to uh, Pennsylvania, Reading, Pennsylvania. And uh, going there wasn't too bad. Picked up the car. It ran and drove at the time, so we get we go straight there, cannonball there with the trailer, load the car up, no problem. Decided to uh, stop in Philadelphia, get a Philly cheesesteak, of course. 
awful traffic. It was horrible. Like, I don't know what we were thinking. Pulling a, a, a trailer with the car on it. After, you know, I think I was probably 20 hours in by then. Um, down, down to, through downtown Philadelphia. But, uh, we make it out of there. And uh, just the worst traffic ever. You know, just like Chicago, just like L.A. Awful it's big city traffic. Parking lot. And we're going through all sorts of weather. I mean, everything. We went through a snowstorm. Like, right when we got out of the city, a huge snowstorm came in, which made traffic even worse. They are coming through a mountain. It's dark out, and it, there's an ice storm. Like, I guess the temperature dropped really quick after the snow, and everything froze. I think we counted, like, seven or eight semis and ditches. Like, hardly anyone on the road. We're pulling a trailer back. It was miserable. We were all tired. Then there was a fog storm after the ice storm. It was, it was, a, it was a hell ride. Just... Bad, bad, bad trip. Never want to do that again. But got it back, and I didn't even drive the car. Right away, I pulled the uh, six-cylinder out, pulled the diff out, and I started building what I wanted, which is a 65. I did a whole bunch of stuff. I worked at Strange. I built a pretty nice one. You know, I can't have a room going out when I work at Strange. So once I started building this, the bad luck with the Falcon continued. You know, it's just a, a cursed Falcon. Something about that engine and trains. Never wanted to run right. Um, I just put the best of best, you know, best of the best of all I can do to this thing. I, I didn't spare any expense building this. And uh, it just never was right. I got the whole car together and the alignment was never right. I bought a tubular front end or it was called a mini subframe kit. I didn't go with the straight axle even though it's a gasser look. I thought, oh, I'll get a tubular front A arm because it'll drive a lot nicer than, you know, Never worked out right. I tried getting aligned. I had to make custom spacers for the uh, upper A arms, and no luck. It's still kind of fucked up, and I still had the overheating problem from the old car, but it got worse and worse. And just keeping up with it, I noticed there was, of course, coolant in the oil. So, I'm like, you know, okay, this thing has to come out. I'm gonna take it apart, actually build the engine up this time. So I figured out I blew a head gasket, and when I took the heads off. It was so corroded in there. I guess the guy who built it before me used just straight up water in the in the uh, steel in the uh, in the heads, and everything was corroded in there. So I, I got nice new um, aluminum heads. I baked the block a couple times at work. I machined it all down, poured a 30 over. I built it the right way. I decided to use the normal just like lock nuts on the rockers rather than using like poly locks or something like that. And driving probably after 10 miles after the rebuild, the lock nuts on the rockers backed themselves off and I snapped a rocker, bent a push rod, uh, I wiped a cam. I got home on who knows how many cylinders, I don't even know how many it was running on. All the you know, lifters are stuck in the bores and all that stuff. Gotta rebuild that engine another time. I put new studs in it, you know, ARP studs, stuff like that. Cleaned the block up, the lifter bores are okay. It was actually just the lifters mushroomed out because it was that beat up, beat up from lock them, it's backing off. Got the poly locks on there now, so they're not gonna back off. It's hydraulic lifters, they, they shouldn't have backed off. It was the curse of the engine, it, it, the thing is cursed. And I thought this time for sure, I, you know, go down the track, I, I put, you know, I have line locks in it. And uh, the first time I raced the car on the track, first time I ever got either of the cars on the track, the front brakes, from my line lot stuck. So halfway down the track, I noticed it was rubbing up a whole lot and nothing was really happening and it just got worse and worse since the brakes were dragging and as they heated up, it was more, you know, just slowing me down slower and slower. And uh, I couldn't get it unseized. So that was a big ordeal getting that back on the trailer. Never got a clean patch that day. Got it home, fixed the uh, line locks, take it out, driving around, put it away for winter. And then first thing in the summer, I tried starting it up and started clunk, just nothing. It would, it would turn over and hit a wall. It would just lock up. So I'm like, you know, what the hell is going on here? Take a breaker bar to the crank, going back and forth, and it'll spin perfectly free and just hit a wall. It'll go the other way, you know, counterclockwise, it'll, it'll go a certain amount and be fine, then hit a wall. Go counterclockwise, be nice and smooth, and then just stop, it'll lock up. Pull the intake off, it looks like all the valves are okay, everything's moving all right. But you could tell some, something's not right. Um, something's in the cylinder locking it up. So I go, pull the head off. The air cleaner stud backed itself out of the car, 
and drop itself through the carb, through the intake, through the head, into the cylinder, and was banging around in there. That wrecked that engine. I had to get a new block, it cracked the block. So then I had to get another 302, which luckily I found one for cheap, another block. I machined everything at work, I, I did everything myself. Rebuilt that one, and here it is, Here's that's how, that's how it sits. So, hopefully this time nothing stupid's gonna happen. I don't believe in like curses or anything like that, or like spirits or any of that bullshit. But man, if something's cursed, it's this it's this car, it's this engine. Like, there's no way this four inch stud falls through the engine. That little 70 cent piece is what destroyed an engine. And for it to make its way from here, work its way through the carb, I mean, you had to be at wide open throttle, it had to be the perfect angle to make it, I think it was number three, three to make it right through the port right into the cylinder i mean there's a 90 degree turn in there like there's no way that should be going through there if this engine fails this time i don't know i might have to cut my losses i mean i told myself i would never pull this engine after the last time i built it because something stupid happened and this time for sure i know i mean i'm serious this time i swear Made you a pizza pie. No, in this thing, I might take it apart again. <laughs> this is how you make the parts tree grow. Where's your milk crate, Sean? <laughs> I keep stealing my milk crates. I steal milk crates and Kenny steals them from me. And now I got no milk crates. How am I supposed to work without these milk crates? I'm doing that penguin walk. John doesn't want to explain this one, but I'm we're, mad at it. we're dropping the engine and trans in here. It's like ever so slightly not dropping into place. It's a bit of a shit show. I mean, look at all that. Everything's yeah, tight. everything's pretty lined up here, but it's like the steering box to worry about. You got all that bullshit. All this shit. I mean, you got what the is? cross members, a steering box, a drag link, fucking all this crap's in the way. This side, we gotta, where to get this on and realize, oh, it has to come back up because the header has to go in. And then, no, we're gonna put the header on and realize, oh, the starter has to go in. Yeah, we probably shouldn't put this in place right now. I'm thinking we, we drop that side, bolt it down, and just chain it to, to the, the head and just like tilt the engine like that. All right, new day, uh, new me, new time you see. It's actually Billy now. 
don't know if we'll finish it. I'm, I'm kind of not motivated. What do you have to say, Billy? Doesn't need much work. It's going to be going today. Easy. Plus Easy money? One hour of work. Max. Easy. I don't know, man. One hour of work. It should still be sunny out by the time we're done. So we've got the manifolds from hell. Everyone thinks old cars are easy to work on, so you got plenty of room. Not this thing. It's actually hidden right now. Normally there's like an eighth inch right there. I think what we need is a couple of beers and that will help the process. Guess we'll have to grab a couple of beers. Clearance, that's uh, yeah, I don't know how much that is, but not, not very much. It's touching. It's not touching. It's totally touching. It was touching before. Now it is. Well, you put it in wrong, I mean. No. No, it's not touching. It'll be good. It's touching. Look, it's touching the fucking You're center of the pulley. You're touching it. This and that are touching. Just let it rip. There's a gap in there. Is there? Yeah, look at that. We'll find out. Nice scratching of pulleys until I was getting frustrated putting this thing in. Just got the drive shaft now. I have to take something back that's rightfully the Falcons. Right now the van has the Falcon battery. Ooh. Had to use the Falcon battery in the van. Taking that ship back now. Got the uh, double pour action here. Oh, I'm doing this with a camera. This is Edward Scissors hands. Edward, 40 hands. Oh, Billy doesn't know the trick. That trick? Yeah, there you go. No more glug. Look at that. He's also using a funnel. Just point that out. He did finish first, though. Well, where is it leaking from? Now I can't tell where it's leaking from either. I mean, it's filled up all the way. That's it. That's the last of it. Feeling look at, pressure? Look at that waterfall action. Can't beat that. Oh! Can't be talking right now. Gotta be careful. 2013 McDonald's cup and some lawnmower gas. I really am a Ford dick, aren't I? Fuck it. What's wrong with the McDonald's cup? That was a whole bunch of fuel. Let's okay, go. I bet it'll start right up. Let's go. It's Come in on. a backfire. Go, go. All right, let's see. This is the moment of the truth right here. Right? Moment of the truth. Oh, of the truth huh? Start right up. I need the key. Hopefully, uh, park is actually park. Smoke. smoke. Oh, you know what? There's a bare ground over there, I think. Oh, yeah, it's brown. You're brown. It's a fucking brown. How'd I know? How's the ground fucking I was looking shorting at out, though? Why is the ground shorting out? Because this isn't grounded very well. No, no. Why is it shorting out? It's shorting out. Like, that's not ground. Like, that's somehow getting power. Is the only when it's starting, you think? Should I put it on and. Yeah, let's see. Put it on. That stinks. I think the battery only has like 11 volts right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do uh, actual ignition on now. Okay. Make sure the uh, distributor doesn't get hot. Like no smoke coming from that when I hit on. Well, you get burnt up those Petronics pretty easy. Why is that? Why are you going for it? Dude, why are you going for it? Well, now what? You might as well take this fucking... Why Why is it grounding out through there? I'm gonna is kill it. it. Are you sure you need that ground? I'm not trying too hard. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's smoking now? You can't even be taking grounds off. I need to act, I need a proper ground. 
Yeah, we got grounded. That's the problem. Yeah, it's going through this ground now. Yeah, exactly. I told you. We're just burning up different grounds. Well, what the fuck? We got to ground it out. I need a, a proper Are you ground. sure this isn't 12 volts right here? And Billy, it's a, a ground. ground. Let's try again. What are you literally put? just touching the block, that same wire, just falling over on the block. Really, that's what's grounding out. Don't take it off. We gotta put a proper. Fair enough. We're just gonna get it off the block. We're gonna run with it. We gotta put a jumper cable on the block and ground it to the frame. So it's. We can do that and see if that works, but. Let's do that. Try it the... out, try it out, go. I'm gonna kill this battery. <laughs> Yeah, I got like 10 volts. Yeah, I know, I only got maybe 10 and a half volts right now. Maybe this timing's off. I think the timing might be It off. popped once, but like yeah, there's... Yeah, that's amazing. Go for it. Floor it. Floor it. Whoa! More smoke than the wiring. Goddamn alternator. Take all the shit from the alternator out and just fucking isolate it because that's giving us a problem. Let's do that. Just fucking have this, which goes to what? That's that's the alternator kill. So you have to have that before the. We don't need this if it's all if it's the alternator kill. Well, it's like when you pull the thing in the back, it, it makes it so it cuts the power of the alternator. So you're not. So when you pull the the actual really kill all switch, we, fuck the alternator. Just bypass that completely. Just take everything reason, off of it, but there's gonna be a live wire on there. You can take it off from there. Yeah, well, what the fuck does this shit go to? Regulator. Regulator's not hot. Dude, look at all these wires. Oh, I think we should just pull the big wire off the alternator right now. Power? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Power's a nightmare. What's, Paris, what's Billy's uh, thoughts on this car? It's, a piece, it's kind of a piece of shit, to be honest. Everything's like. Whoa! Holy Billy, it's still a live shit. wire. You gotta be careful. That's gonna be a live wire. Yeah, that baby's hot. All right, now we can fucking go for it. All right, let's see. This might be it. This, or, or now the car might not shut off now. That'd be really bad. Now what? I lost all power now. What? Oh, you know what? I think I hit the kill switch. That's what I did. No, you didn't, because I have to. Because that's straight from the battery, because that, that goes to the kill switch. That's before the kill switch. I told you. Yeah, there we go. Now where are we going to shore? Give her a little break. I bet you did 180 degrees off this last No, it's, I definitely put it right. timing every time and it runs you come here oh you did it wrong you redo it and then it doesn't run that's what you do no, 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 no. I, i'm gonna put it back the way i had it i, I go right off the ford manual first i guess we could shove all these babies one spot to the right see if that works <laughs> that's out of time you heard it like lock up that's out of time <laughs> That's out of time. 
That's definitely out of time now. It's 180 degrees off, I guarantee. Now it's gone. So what do we just do? We'll put it back the way I had it, right? Yeah, 180 degrees Yeah, no, 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 no. We put it back the way, the right way. Right for the engine you rebuilt. No, no, we put it back the way I had it. Spark. Who's to say? We only have ten and a half volts. Maybe it's killing it. And when we crank, we got more smoke. We got more fucking smoke. This fucking thing is gone. It's a piece of shit. Fuck this car, dude. Fuck this car. Yeah, you have a, you're shorting still. Still. There's fucking jumper cables on it, huh? Um, that makes no sense. Are you sure? Yeah, Is it both, this? Both these. Just a starter one, right? Just a starter. The starter's gonna get hot. I'm cranking on it. I, I'm. The... No, no, no. We got smoke. This daddy's hot, hot. The car is cursed. It's not going. It's not gonna work. It's done. It is done. Dude, this is hot. This thick ass. Yeah, I know because it's, it's coming right from the starter. Then, but this, no, that's not hot. None of these are hot. So that's, that's good. good. Ooh, these are hot though. Yeah, these fuckers are hot, hot, hot. And starter wire is hot, hot. Starter this wire should be hot, hot, hot. That should be hot, hot. That's going to the dash. That's not. Hot. That's not yeah. Man's not hot there. Man's not hot. You heard here. No, that's not it. Okay, so yeah, grindy hot, here, gotta grind it hot, there. and very hot down here. Why is that? You see, that shouldn't be hot. That's good yeah, because it's going to the fucking. You know what we did? We we mounted the ground. What about these wires? These go to the fucking what? These are hot too, aren't they? These fuckers are hot. That fucker is super hot. So it's the next day, and you can see it's still not running. After a few beers of thought last night at the uh, neighborhood bar, I think I got some ideas of what it could be. It's just now, I don't know if I really want to mess with this now. I mean, probably not going to be right, but I don't think the uh, battery was charged up enough to be firing the ignition. That could be one problem. Taking this engine out, I noticed the uh, ground wire was pretty bad for the engine block. And if that was bad, I, I never put it back in then. So then the engine was trying to ground itself through the small grounds that are like near sensors and stuff like that I have, like the firewall ground, and just smoking them. So you can see here, that wire got fried in there. That was probably one of the grounds. And hopefully that didn't fuck up any kind of ignition wire. Causing that not to start. Guess I'll have to rip into it. The curse of the Falcon continues.